lights going, it's pretty. The what? You said we got the lights going, it's pretty, and the smoke. Oh, it's all underneath and shit? Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't know what, they don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. You the so. <laughs> <laughs> we got surprises in store, things mm -hmm. people aren't even expecting. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, we weren't expecting that from them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Cigar Titan here once again. My good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. Titan fam. And Brother Stogie, we are back at it. Another episode with another big piece of machinery between the two of us where I can't see over the table. See see my Titan brother across the way. I know what you're looking like. <laughs> <laughs> brother Stogie, what do we got in store for him today? Hey, man, shout out to New Air, especially Jasmine Filarino, who has partnered with the Cigar Titans to bring us this sexy beer froster straight from New Air. Beer froster. Yes. Sounds like it does some some frosting of the beer. Because it's hot as hell. <laughs> it's hot as hell. You can really go into a seven day heat streak. Yeah. And yeah. what we need Triple digits. is to have some of our beverages frosted. We need those frosty beverages. Yes, we do. You ready to get started? Let's give it to them. All right, welcome back everybody. So like we said at the beginning of the episode, we have another new air product that we are reviewing today. Yes. And today it is the 46 can. 46 can. Count them. One, two, 46. <laughs> Beer Froster from New Air USA. Newair.com. Yes. So, I mean, check this out. So remember, Titan fam, we always bring stuff that are beneficial to the Titan fam. The to, er, to everybody's yeah. perspective, not everybody's Titan lounges. Not everybody, not everything's got to be a humidor. No, everything doesn't have to be a humidor. We already did our humidor videos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If you haven't, we if, do those if too. If you haven't caught the new air humidor that we reviewed that we did, go back and check out that video. What, what else we got? The deep freezer. Yeah, we got the deep freezer. We had the 60 can uh, fridge, mini yes. fridge, and now we, we got the 46 can. Beer frost. Such a weird number to land on. 46. 46. <laughs> it's like it wasn't 45. Well, you know what? I, I assume because like the 150 count humidor, right? They should probably say an 87 count humidor, right? Because when you put Toros and Robustos, it right. might throw it down, throw it out of count. We start mixing so it up. You think with this one, you put a whole bunch of Coronas, you might get 50. That's right. But you start throwing White Claws and Celsius and shit in there. It might break it down a little bit. A little bit. You know what I'm saying? But say, this ain't about sales. This is about the 46 can beer froster. <laughs> beer, beer, beer froster. You know, so we went and we actually plugged it in because, so the highlight of this is being the beer froster. So the temperature range for this is 23 degrees to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. The 23 degrees is what we are assuming because inside their manual, it didn't have anything specific about the frosting of the beer. Right. So we're assuming that the 23 degrees is what's going to frost your beer at a specific time. Right. Now, we had this, like you said, plugged in in the house for roughly a couple of hours. We took it fresh out the box. Took it fresh out of the box, plugged it in, had it plugged in for a couple of hours. Threw some stuff in there. Threw some stuff in there. And it started to really get a little chilly towards the end of the couple hours. It chilled. It chilled. But it, it two hours, but wasn't frosted. Frost. Right. Not after two hours. So it's probably going to take a little bit longer than two hours. Right. So if you order this, because it's beer froster, don't plug it in right before people start showing up to the house, thinking it's going to be nice and frosty when they get through the door. Right. Because they're going to be pissed. Because you're like, hey, bro, don't you have frosted beer? <laughs> no. You prolong, you procrastinate, you way too damn long. Can't put it in here and expect right. immediate sub-zero. Exactly. So the <laughs> Titans, I'm telling you now, do not wait to the last minute to plug this in for the party because it won't be frosted in time. That's right. Give it some time to warm up and get to where it's got to be. Or cool down. Yes, or cool down. Exactly. Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> as you can see, it's like, it's like the Nintendo game. We go like this, <laughs> Atari, at the ball. At his. Oh, you're talking about Pong. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. <laughs> so when we're talking about aesthetics or looks, I think the most flash for this particular unit is going to be right here on the front, and you can see that this has a stainless steel finish. Uh, more like a brush, oh, like a brushed, a yeah, brushed finish. Nickel on the front here. The top of this, along with the sides and the back, are all a matte black kind of finish. And then you've got your little display up here, which Brother Stogie will go into in a minute. But in terms of looks, 
it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not it's not complicated. It's not in its three piece tuxedo. No, nope. you know, it's a very simple business casual kind of look. So, pretty much, yep, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You get what you get. So, I mean, it's a nice unit. So, of course, you know, what, keep it simple, stupid. Mm -hmm. The directions of the manual say, do not put the unit inside of a cabinet. Don't put the unit enclosed because it has to breathe. Yes. So, we actually talked about the motor earlier. We so, did. So, I'm assuming it's because it's a refrigerator and not a thermal electric humidor, the motor is a little louder. A little bit. And we'll play a little bit of that for everybody watching at home so you can get kind of an idea of just how loud the motor is. I mean, it's not anything that's like obscene. Mm -hmm. It's not going to distract or anything from it. And once the door is closed, it's pretty, it's pretty muffled. But there is definitely a noise that comes from the fan you can hear inside when it's plugged in. Exactly. So just like the deep freezer from New Air, you want to make sure you put this in a nice climate controlled area, um, probably inside the garage, especially if you live in areas like uh, Las Vegas yeah. or Arizona, you might not want to put that in the garage because the temperature, at least in the Titan Lounge. Well, you, you know, know maybe. Depend. I mean, that those are extreme temperatures, right? Yes. We're talking 110 plus in some of these climates. Mm -hmm. However, you know, in California, we do get in triple digits out here fairly often too during the summer months. And the new air 60 count uh, mini fridge that we did a review on a couple of months back is actually in the Titan Den here mm -hmm. as well and i've had zero issues with it hard right to cool down make sure the motor's not working too hard to keep itself warm it very rarely gets to be over 110 degrees oh, yeah. out here by yeah. us we do get triple digits but it's rare that it gets that hot but like brother stogie was saying arizona nevada it can be over 110 degrees fairly consistently day after day and if you're Froster is working in those kind of temperatures, mm -hmm. you know, you are bound to sooner or later burn that motor out for sure. Exactly. So, what you see in the front, this nice, beautiful, sexy display right here. Nice and beautiful. Okay. This is the temperature where it shows the temperature. You have the nice, easy set up and down buttons to where you can regulate the temperature to where you're 23 or you're 64 degrees. Nice up little or digital down. display there. Nice little, nice big number, just in case you got it. Yeah. You got bifocal, you can't really see quite well. The numbers are nice and big. Yep. So for the control panel, um, there's a lock button. So you press and hold both the up and down button for two seconds to lock the control panel. When the control panel is locked, the only button that will work is the lock button itself. So you can press and hold, you press and hold for two seconds again to unlock the control panel. And that's good because yes. you can lock it and your kids that are nosy and shit that wanna press all your buttons, can't mess up your, your, your that's froster. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Or who knows? Your wife coming to mess with yourself. Oh, he got some new stuff again. <laughs> he brought something else in the house and he want to go ahead and mess with your stuff. She won't know how to unlock it. So unlock your stuff. Your humidor, it came with keys. Lock it up. Put it on your keychain while you're going to work. So can't nobody go into your stuff. Right. And I know you were starting to talk about it earlier today in the back unit where you got the fan here. It's always a good idea to keep a unit like this anywhere between one and a half to two feet off the back of a wall so mm -hmm. that the fan has some room to breathe as well. You don't want it sitting up at the back there. Again, not getting enough airflow back there for the fan to work properly. Keep it off the floor. If you're gonna store it in your bedroom or something like that, put a nice little stand, yep. make it look nice and pretty. Um, let's show them the inside. Let's show them the inside. So we got a few things in there right now. And you can see here, we don't have anywhere near nice wide open 46 room. cans in here. But you can see about the depth here, and we'll put a video up here shortly where you guys can see just how deep this goes. But the other thing that I noticed that was slightly different, we can go ahead and close that up, from the uh, 60 count mini air fridge that we had before was the glass shelves inside the beer froster. Very nice. There's glass shelves in here? There's glass shelves, yes. Yep, yep there's glass shelves in there. But those are frosted. <laughs> those are frosted, those, yes. Those, those are frosted. <laughs> Not the beverages, but the shelves. But a nice frosted. little nice little aesthetic touch to it to go along with its its business casual front here. Exactly. So the shelves come out. So if you want to put you know, a wine bottle or something in there, you can make some room for it. Or a nice tall can, because you know you got your 
your your your mango carts that come in a tall can. Yeah, yeah. You got a Corona or a Modelo Negro that come in a tall can. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna get four or six cans out of those, but you can make room for them up in here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. I mean, it's not all about getting necessarily 46 cans in there. It's about having having stuff in there that you want to drink. But you always got you. There's always one person, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm gonna buy this 46 can beer froster, right. and I'm gonna buy 46 tall cans, <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna see if I can get 46 tall cans, right. and if I don't, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be mighty upset. I'm calling the customer service. <laughs> mighty upset. New winner's gonna hear from me. The, the, this is absurd. <laughs> I couldn't fit 46 tall cans in this 46 can beer froster. That's right. I need your manager. <laughs> I need your manager's manager, because I don't think your manager go listen to what I gotta say. <laughs> Brother Stogie. Yes. What else do we got for him? That's it, man. That's it, right? That's it. It was simple. We, we bring, He's bring, busy today. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go through our videos, see what we have. We, we're partners with New Air, wonderful people. Um, again, shout out for Jasmine for That's trusting. Big thank you. The, big thank you for trusting the Titans with their products. Uh, we love them. We wouldn't put anything on this channel that we didn't believe in or we didn't think that works great. Yep. So far, all their products are amazing. You pay for what you get. Word. Speaking of. How much is this thing? It is. <laughs> you set got me up. So if you go on newair.com, you look it up. Beer Froster. Beer Froster. Right? You will find the 46 can beer froster. For four nineteen ninety nine. Four hundred and nineteen dollars. Four hundred and nineteen ninety nine. 499. Yes. But of course, always down in the description below. Description. We will have mm -hmm. our Titans code for y'all. Get a little chunk of change off of there. You know, that's that's a little heavy on the price right there. Yep. But we're gonna take Titans at checkout. Don't worry about it. We got it. you. It'll be it'll be down there below. Hope y'all enjoy, man. Hey, if you if if you have bought some of these products. If you buy this one, you got the humidor. Go on Instagram, hashtag New Air USA. Yes. Show my hashtag. Show my New Air. Yep. Yep. Show them what you got. Tell them where you got it from. Tell them who showed you. Who sent them? Who sent you? Who the sent Titan. Them? The Titan Lounge. If you have decorated your lounge with some of these products, send us a picture. We'll blow you up on Instagram, and we will even send it to New Air. They can blow you up on NewAirUSA.com. We just blowing everybody up. We got y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, hope y'all enjoyed this review. Always more to come in the future. Do us a favor. Hit that like button. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Please. You're in the Titan House. What do you we love y'all? What do you gotta do when you're in the Titan House? Comment. Comment, yeah. And before you leave the Titan House, hit the damn thumb. Bingo. Like the damn video. Right. Right? Right. And hit that bell so you get new notifications every time Scar Titan posts a new video for y'all. Until next time, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's Frosty, awesome, baby. <laughs> Ooh, switch it up. All right. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>